Hey everybody, Mo here and welcome to my channel for all the new viewers and for all of my subscribers, welcome back. Um, today I just want to show you guys how I'm going to be making my 4th of July centerpieces and everything is pretty much from the Dollar Tree. So as you see this floral foam here, you're going to need that. I have a 20.5 inch hula hoop, this pack of wood planks, you're going to need a hot glue gun, and I also found some 4th of July garland and some red, white, and blue floral stems. And I grabbed about six of those and these cute little 4th of July um, gnome yard signs and they come two together with two for a dollar twenty-five. So first I'm going to start off with my floral foam and these wood planks. The wood planks are basically for stability and also a little weight and I'm just going to try to get them open here. I'm going to be using two of them just to add a little extra weight. I think it comes with about five or six. I can't remember. And I'm just basically gonna hot glue those together and then hot glue them to the bottom of the floral foam as you see me doing here. They're not that heavy, so that is the reason why I'm gonna use two just for a little extra weight. And then also like if it's going to be a windy day where you are, you may want to find something a little heavier to use that will weigh your centerpiece down. If you're going to be indoors, this should be just fine. Or if you just know it's not going to be very windy where you are, you should be fine as well. Or you can use something else as weights, like maybe you can get the clear rocks or something and set them on top of your foam block um, once you've completed your centerpiece. So we have that there, and then you wanna grab, you can use a butter knife, a knife, any a blade, whatever, that will cut through your floral foam. And we just kinda wanna make a section where our um, hula hoop can go down into. So I'm just gonna kinda use that to see the width that I should cut, cause I want it to fit a little tight. So I can hot glue it down in there, and that's just to give it some stability to hold it up. I don't trust just gluing it right on top of the flat block. And you want to make it a little deep, probably about um, midways of the foam block. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover this foam block and nobody's going to see it. So even if, if you don't feel if you're going to do this with kids, maybe you want to like use a fork or a spoon or something so that they're not using anything sharp. But we just basically want to make a well for our hoop to sit in. And I'm just trying not to tear the entire foam block because these are pretty delicate. And I just didn't want it to like break in half. Then I would have to start over. So I'm just digging some of that out of the bottom so I can get that well deep enough for the hoop to sit down in. And then I'm just placing that to see how I'm gonna hot glue it. generous amount of hot glue down into that well that we dug out of the foam block. I'm going to put it on the bottom and on the side so anything that the hoop will touch it would adhere to. And I'm just going to hold that down until it dries for a few seconds, it doesn't take too long. And then I was thinking about like trying to glue some of the pieces of the foam block back down on top and I kind of figured like that would probably be unnecessary. You can do it, it won't harm it or anything, but I decided not to, so I'm just gonna end up adding some more 
hot glue to the top of the hula hoop just to kind of seal that down in there and like I said you won't see any of this so it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be covering this with the 4th of July sparkly garland So now I'm going to take my garland and unravel. I'm only going to use one of the garland. Um, I got two just in case, but it just depends on how bulky that you want your centerpiece to look. But because of this like kind of, I guess, confetti style garland, um, it looks full enough for me with just one. So you're not using so many supplies just for one centerpiece. But it's definitely up to your preference. If you would like to use two because you want it thicker, you can definitely use two. And basically, you're just going to wrap this around. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no specific way to do it. You're basically just camouflaging the phone. So whichever direction you decide to go, whether it's wrapping it around, whether it's back and forth, Whatever you want to do, you just want to glue it down like pieces at a time. And that's all I'm doing here. And I'm just going to do this, repeat these steps until I have this phone block completely covered.
okay so since our foam block is completely covered like i said if you want to use a second garland you can go ahead and do that but as you can see it's nice and fluffy i'm gonna go ahead and pick my favorite gnome and that will be the one with the i guess like uncle sam hat and i am going to apply that to my foam i'm just sitting here measuring seeing if i need to cut any of that wire off and yes i want to cut it down a little shorter so i'm just gonna do that here and then I'm just gonna take that wire and just push it straight down into the foam. And you just wanna make sure you have it as centered as possible. He was leaning a little, so I decided to try to fix him. You can even cut it down even more to where his feet are down into the garland if that's what you prefer, but I just thought he was cute and I wanted everything to show and then I'm also going to add some of my flower stems which I had already cut ahead of time before the video just to save some time. Um, the Dollar Tree has some of the little bouquet stems that come with these little foam stars that I thought were really cute and would add a nice little touch so I grabbed a few of those and we are just going to add them. They come with um, leaves on them but this I really didn't want the leaves on the flowers or anything on this um, centerpiece I just I don't know I didn't want that look but it's totally fine if that's what you want to do you can leave your leaves on your florals I just decided to take them off and I'm just kind of adding the florals for fillers if you're not a flower person or you don't want to incorporate flowers you don't have to use flowers you can find something else you can get like the little um, foil sparkly little stem things the little floral picks and you can use those so it kind of looks like fireworks are shooting out the base of your centerpiece but I just wanted to add some, some of these florals and you can make them as short or as tall as you prefer and here I'm just pretty much grouping the three colors together the red white and blue in each group of flowers that I add to the base. You can add more, you can add less, it's just totally up to you. Honestly, I don't have room to store these anywhere, so after the fourth, I'm pretty sure they'll be tossed. So like, I'm not like putting too much money into them. And again, like I said, like we're going into a recession. So that doesn't mean life has to stop, but right now it's time to be as frugal as possible. Even though I understand that the Dollar Tree has went up 25 cents, it's still cheaper than going to Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and don't get me wrong, I still shop at those craft stores, I love them. But for certain items, and especially something that's only gonna be used once, I just feel like it's smarter to go to the Dollar Tree if you can. Now there are also some things that just don't make sense to buy at Dollar Tree and I totally get that but I went in there one day not even thinking about my centerpieces and I spotted these hula hoops and it was just like pow the idea just popped in my head so I started running through the store trying to find other accessories and pieces to put with it and this is what I came up with. I believe it's so cute. You can do this for any theme. It doesn't have to be the 4th of July. You can do the same, use the same um, steps with the base and the hoop. Um, you can even save these hula hoops. You can spray paint them gold, silver, or whatever color to match your event. Instead of going and buying the heavy duty metal hoops for centerpieces, this is a cheap and affordable way to upgrade your centerpieces for your event tables. And no one would really even know, like, who's really like touching and playing with the centerpieces. So like I said, you can do this for any occasion. If you have a Mickey Mouse party, if you have a unicorn party, you can do this for baby showers or anything. So I hope this video really helped you guys. I hope that you like the idea. I'm adding my little bow right now to the top corner of my hoop. Then I decided the bow was a little plain. It's kind of off camera, but you guys will see it at the end. Well, there it goes and I'll, I'm gonna end up adding flowers to it because I feel like it's cute but I feel like it just needed a pop it needed a little bit more a lot of times when I do things I may do it and I'm like what is one thing I can do to make it just a little bit better 
I was just kind of going through in my head, should I do it, should I not do it? And I'm like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Um, I don't have any links for anything because I didn't order anything online. Like I said, all of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree except for the knife, except for the floral shears or whatever you can get those from like walmart target or your local craft store um, if you don't already have them or you could probably even just use some scissors that you have to cut your florals yeah pretty much just a dollar tree find the accessories that you like the colors that you like even if it's not for the fourth of july and it's all the same concept so if you guys don't mind sharing this video, I really appreciate it. Again, to all my subbies, welcome back. To all my new subscribers or first time viewers, hi. And I hope you guys decide to subscribe. And I hope this video gave you guys ideas for your next events. Again, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.